Marshall, a central Ohio man is reflecting on life outside of prison tonight. The state just gave him more than a million dollars for his 21 years inside. And it's not that he didn't do the crime. There's a possibility that there was no crime in the first place. Isabel Hansen on your side tonight. Hard thing to process 21 years behind bars for a crime that may not have actually happened, Isabel. Yes, Bob, the man's lawyer tells me he believes the crime never happened. Still, Blaine Smith paid for it behind bars. He tells me he used his anger to fuel his fight to prove his innocence. Uh -oh. ah! <laughs> July 4th, 2021, a day Blaine Smith fought for during his 21 years in prison. I was happy, I was crying. The truth finally freed him from a wrongful conviction. First, I was I was really mad because they, like, they took my life away. And he had a lot to do with his own freedom because he insisted from day one that he was innocent. Smith's attorney, Joseph Landusky, says the alleged crime think? happened in 2000 at a home in Pickerington, a reported home invasion robbery. He was sentenced to 67 years in prison for a crime that was not even committed by anyone. According to Landusky, the defense lawyer at the time of the initial trial did not receive evidence that proved Smith's innocence. When the first re responders showed up, there were no footprints in the snow. It had recently snowed. There was a dog barking right next door when they pulled up. The neighbors said no dog had barked in the last hour. There were no tire tracks. So it made sense to the investigating officers that this didn't even happen. There were times I couldn't take another minute of being incarcerated, but I had to keep fighting though, because I know I was innocent. That's what kept me going. So Smith says he took matters into his own hands. I mean, I fought hard, like studying case law, reading the law books, just being there for hours and hours. Just that was my time. I was like, I got to go to the law library. That's, every day, that's what it was for years. Eventually, another judge granted Smith a hearing. A prosecutor dismissed his case, ending his time in prison. The small things mean a lot to me. And um, so I'm, just, I'm grateful. I feel blessed and grateful to, to have an opportunity uh, to be free, uh, spend time with my family and my son. On Monday, the state approved a settlement of $1.3 million for Smith and his attorneys. How can you replace 21 years in prison? You can't. If I offered you $50 million to go to prison now and get out in 21 years, it, there's no amount of money I could give you that you would do that. And while Smith can't get those years back, he gained a new perspective on life. One of the things is to be grateful to wherever you're at in life. Uh, to keep fighting. Small things don't bother me. You know, I don't let it, let it get to me because I'm happy that I'm out here to be able to experience that. So.